Welcome back to my people. It's always nice to be back with my people. I really appreciate what I'm doing for you all. Trust me, without you all, I wouldn't be there today. So today we are going to deal with belief. We are going to deal with the belief because this belief that gives you the bay oil. This belief that gives you the bay oil. Alright? So we are going to deal with the processing of the bay leaf from breaking it, transporting it to the distillery and to the boiling pot. So today we are just going to do a little of the breaking. So as you can see, it's, it's, it's a tree, right? So we are just going to break it today. We are going to start the breaking today. And this bay leaf is a very, very, very important, important bay leaf. Because you know why the belief is so important? It's because our great grandparents lived on this belief and people are still living and depending on this belief. Because a lot of children went to study on this belief. A lot of children went to secondary school on this belief. This belief have built houses, especially in Pilit Savan. If you go to Pilit Savan, you're gonna see because Pilit Savan is hills and valleys, most likely. So all you're going to see, you're going to see on the hills a lot of bay leaf. And people actually build big, big houses. People take loans on bay leaf based on the size of your, of your bay leaf. So it's a very, very important thing. We in Dominica, we have to cherish. And we have to see how we're going to expand the market. We have to expand the, ma the market of the bay leaf and see how we can get more money. There are some trees that this one is short, so I don't have to claim it. So there are certain trees now I, I will have to climb. So it's like this, like this tree here. You know, I actually have to climb this tree. Right. I have to I have to climb this tree to break the baby. This is how it this is how it happened. This is how we have to start start it to get the bay oil. Yeah. This is the first phase. And the first first phase of the breaking of the, the first phase of the breaking of the belly. Yeah. So after breaking the belly, before we used to tie it, but right now we have bags. This is a big cement bag, so we use the bag to we use the bag to back it to bag it up. Yeah. So before. Our, our people used to tie it with small parcels and then carry it to the main road so that the vehicles could, could come for it. But right now we are bags. So we just put in putting them in bags and then we just roll in them. So if the place is difficult, what we do we do use a smaller bag and we carry it. So so this is really the first phase of the bay leaf. This is the first phase. So from there, the transporting part and getting it to the getting it to the distillery. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. We're just gonna show you where an accident happened from Lubier to Bagatel Road, which we had to build. We had to get 40 million pounds. And because of the government and the way they handled their business, we did not get it. So I'm going to show you the ginger where a vehicle went down. A vehicle went down. All three were down there. That's where a vehicle went down. And this is how close it is to the road. You see how close it is? And whenever something happens, whenever a vehicle went down, they always put tape. But the tape cannot protect the people. Tape cannot protect the people, so we need to get a protection. We need to get some kind of protection on this area because it's not the first time Vika have been going down this road there. Yeah. So we are showing you the danger we are facing when we had to get the money. We had to get 40 million pounds from the British. Which we never, which we never get. So all they do is put tape and agree everything fixed. 
so this is how deep it is down there this is where the vehicle went down as you can see the vehicle the vehicle is still down there the vehicle is still down there so sad we have to get up 40 million pounds and we lose the money Yeah, so this is the Bagatelle Primary School. I'm just gonna show you because I did it already and up till now nothing has been done. So this is the Bagatelle Primary School and the children are passing down this direction to the village of Fonsenja and they are walking down to their homes and I'm just gonna show you the risk they are facing and I did it already I'm just doing the follow-up of it because they haven't do anything as yet so I'm calling on the government and whoever is responsible for putting the rail in and the security of the people the school children and the villagers of Fon Senja to help to protect them if in case something happen it will be because of the government that did not listen and they was taking it for a joke so I'm just gonna see and show you the danger that our children from Fon Senja Fab and Lekwek are facing every day and not only the children adults could be walking there and a the figure is coming and they missed you never know look it there is it this is the danger our people our children are facing to the way to Fon Senja there is it can't you see how deep it is? Can't you see how deep it is? So I am still calling on the government or whoever is responsible for putting railings or patching railings. Here is an emergency we are facing on the way to Fonsenja. Our people lives are in danger and I did spoke about it a couple time ago and nothing has been done nothing has been done we don't have to wait for when something happened for us to come and put tape yellow tape and that is it so I'm calling on the authorities I'm calling on the government to send somebody to put the railing back in order 
to protect our children and our people.